Thanks for joining us this evening. This service is being brought to you by members of First Acts. I'm sorry I'm late. Traffic. Oh, rioters, candlelight ceremonies, you name it, it was in my way. Let's see, protests, wildfires, death and destruction, more of the same. Did you hear any of that? I'm talking to myself, aren't I? Can you, can you hear me now? How, how about now? I can't hear you at all. Hello? Hello? Don't leave me hanging here. I can't go on the air alone. Oh. Okay, it's working now. If you could turn it down a bit. Thanks. How was your birthday party last night? I'm a drive by birthday party? Well, well, I suppose that's as good an idea as social distancing and, and quarantine. They wrote what on their car? <laughs> oh no, this this is why I don't go to your parties. <laughs> Pandemic. Riots, natural disasters. You really know how to lift the spirits. These stories are truly heartwarming. What? What's that? Oh, thanks. <sighs> you know, when people tell you that you look tired, and it doesn't sound like an insult, it is. I can only put on so much makeup. <sighs> I think these bags under my eyes are permanently embedded. I don't know. I'm sleeping, I'm napping, I'm even drinking caffeine. This just gets exhausting. Nothing, I didn't say anything important. It's just, <sighs> alive in 60 seconds, got it. I don't see the article on the shooting. Well, when are we getting more details? Okay, just feed it to me live. We're getting too good at this, you know. News, more of the same depressing updates coming your way. I am not a Debbie Downer. I just hope it's harder to, harder to get to find here now. Just once it would be nice to report some good news, something hopeful, something, something people could hold on to. Yes, I'm ready. Today's top story. Wildfires rage across the Western United States. Firefighters are battling over 106 large wildfires. Many of the fires are in California where fire officials have said more than 17,000 firefighters are battling more than 20 major blazes. Governor Gavin Newsom says the state has seen 7,000 blazes this year. The Bobcat Fire in the mountains northeast of Los Angeles has destroyed nearly 156 square miles and is only 13% contained. The blaze is expected to grow as critical fire conditions continue due to gusty winds and low humidity. I'm reporting live here in Pasadena, California. Thousands of residents in the foothill communities of Anoak Valley were ordered to evacuate Saturday. The Bobcat Fire started over two weeks ago and has already doubled in size, becoming one of Los Angeles' greatest fires in history. 
LA County Fire Chiefs have said the fire is bigger than the city of Denver and has destroyed or damaged at least 30 homes and buildings, with the toll expected to rise over 100 when the damage assessments are complete. A derecho swept across the Midwest, leaving behind widespread and utterly devastating damage in its wake, hitting central and eastern Iowa the hardest. The highest official wind gusts measured 99 miles per hour at the Marshalltown Airport, Iowa and 15 confirmed tornadoes touched down across northern Illinois and northwest Indiana. Worldwide pandemic, wildfires, riots, murder hornets. 2020 is on track to be a record-setting year for massive disasters in the history of the United States. The question now is, where will the money come to pay for all the devastation at least 200,000 people have died in the United States due to coronavirus, according to the Centers for Disease Control. Recently, the CDC released a study stating that infected aerosol particles can linger in the air for longer than previously thought. According to Dr. Eric Fingelding, the new development means that six feet may not be enough of a distance, especially in indoor spaces, and that there has been a growing convergence on that point among scientists around the world. Political pressure on the approval or authorization of a coronavirus cure continues to be a concern, even as the health officials and pharmaceutical companies have pledged to maintain strong standards for safety and efficacy. Across the U.S., protests and riots have erupted in support of the Black Lives Matter movement, sparked from the death of George Floyd, who was killed during an arrest. Protesters took the streets of Louisville, Kentucky, amid a countrywide curfew after a former police officer was indicted only on first-degree wanton endangerment charges for his action on the night Brianna Taylor was killed by police. Protests and riots have spread to more than 140 cities in the U.S., and the National Guard has been called to 21 states. More than 20 people have died in the riots. Widespread vandalism and looting will cost upwards of $2 billion. Dozens have been hurt across the U.S. in various protest-related altercations. Vehicles plowing into crowds, police officers suffering head injuries and broken bones, and protesters ending up in the emergency rooms. Distraught people, deadly results. What is missing from our schools that has allowed such violence? What has happened that has brought our nation to this point? How do we stop these deadly riots? Devastation raises the unanswered question. Why? For all the losses, both big and small, that those in our church and in our lives have experienced. Canceled events, postponed celebrations, and visits, weddings, birthdays, and graduations. Family reunions, treatments, surgeries, and appointments, and everything in between. God, who is unchanging, we look to you for help. For those who have lost jobs, business, income, savings, and opportunity. We call out to you, our provider, and we ask for help, for provision, and for new opportunities. We pray that those impacted will thrive and flourish beyond what they could ever ask or imagine. For the vulnerable in our community and around the world, who are not safe or secure before the pandemic hit and whose lives have been thrown into more danger, desperation, and turmoil. We ask, O oh God, for your intervention and your protection. Use your church around the world to minister to their practical needs and spiritual needs through the love of Christ. For our leaders in the church, we ask for continued inspiration, strength, and wisdom. For leaders in government and all other spheres of society, both in our community, our nation, and around the world. We pray for next level wisdom and that you will give them the hearts of servants. Use the unique challenges they face to turn their hearts and their wills to you. For each person in our church, we hope you hear every prayer, hold every hope, have the answer to every question. And so, we lift up our brothers and sisters to you, our loving Father. And may the work you have done in us through the challenge and, and trials we face 
produce endurance and fruit in our lives and in our church that is everlasting. We trust in you and we love you. We believe you are who you say that you are. And we know that you are present with us. We thank you that you have preserved and sustained us. That you will never fail or forsake us. To you, our loving God, we pray. Amen. Amen.